Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to part two of my Unreal Development Kit Cloth Basics tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to import the cloth mesh into Unreal and use it. Um, I've already set up a simple scene to save some time. Um, go on ahead and set up a scene however you want or load up an existing scene. Alright, first thing we're going to want to do is go to our content browser, hit import go to the desktop or wherever it is you happen to save it and for those of you that do not have uh, 3ds max uh, check the description and I have uploaded the cloth.psk file for you alright go on ahead and open it um, I'm gonna save it in package called cloth physics group mesh name I'm just gonna leave it as no, I'll call it uh, no, I'll just leave it as cloth alright Okay, next thing we need to do is open up the skeletal mesh animator, go to mesh, and you can use left mouse button to rotate about the scene, and right mouse button to zoom in and out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to assign a new material. Uh, we need a material that is two sided, and so go to cool materials and select whatever material you'd like or you can go to all assets. Just pick any material you like. Um, if the material is not um, two-sided, you can check by double-clicking. Make sure two-sided is checked. If it is, um, good. All right. Now select your material and go ahead and add it in. There we go. Okay. Now you scroll down a little bit. Uh, turn for CPU skinning so cloth will work, cloth physics will work. Um, you, there are a lot of options here. Uh, bend constraints, dampening, uh, use cloth com dampening, bend stiffness. Um, first thing before we get into all that, we want to go to cloth bones. Hit this little plus sign, type in, now remember we have two bones here. So the name of our cloth, we want to use our cloth bone. And now let's just check and see what this looks like um, by default. So hit this little flag up here, toggle cloth. And there we go. Cloth physics are now working. Um, you can go on ahead and mess around with all these settings. Uh, in the description, I added the documentation that explains all of this in much more detail. Um, to enable cloth tearing, which is something a lot of you have been asking about, just select the checkbox and lower the tear factor to nothing below 1. Let's try 1 1.2. Uh, this cloth might not have enough uh, it might not have enough vertices to be terrible. Alright. Okay, now let's go on ahead and place our cloth in the scene. Let's go to all assets. Oh, here it is, new package cloth physics. Place our cloth in, the, place our mesh in the scene. All right, and then rebuild the lighting. And then test out the game real quick. Ah, sorry, forgot one thing. All right, double click our skeletal mesh actor. Expand the skeletal mesh actor tab. Expand it again. Go to cloth. Okay. All right. We want our cloth to start on a wake. We also want cloth to use compartment. Um, enable this if you want the hardware acceleration. We also want to enable cloth simulation. For those of you with ATI cards, you cannot use cloth compartment. Alright, and now we can test it out, and there we go. We have cloth working in the UDK. And um, that concludes the basics to the cloth tutorial. Um, I will have another one later 
on this week that will go in much more in depth. Thank you.